I read the papers every day. I love the sun, the mirror, and the daily star. The lips smacking lovely what they offer me. Just make, got to make sure I don't salivate too much. Because I'm a respectable man. A oh, waiter, can I order another schadenfreude? The side dishes are heavy and of hate. And I think I'm going to need, and I'm really going to plead, for some sour bread to wipe it around my plate. And I really think I might take a little bit of spite, for it adds a little garnish to my plate. Could you search the larder, for I want you to try hard to serve me up some morning smugness now. I like to start my day and get ready for the fray. I like to wipe my feelings around my plate. I like to test my taste buds with all this ugliness. I like to wipe my feelings around my plate. Oh, waiter, can I order another schadenfreude with side dishes of envy and of hate? And I think I'm going to need, so I'm really going to bleed, some sour bread to wipe around my plate. I really think I might take a little bit of spite, for it adds a little garnish to my plate. A waiter, be sure to tell those tabloid chefs who are working in the kitchens that any serving after twelve each day is far, far, far too late. A celebrity goulash scandal is something I can handle. I feel that it is better taken late, like Cheryl Cole has trouble with her mate. Not too early in the morning, I must offer you this warning. Hot dishes like that are much better taken later, so I think I really put on hold revenge, which really is much better than taken cold. Oh, wait, can I order another Schadenfreude with side dishes of envy and a mate? And I think I really need, and I'm really going to plead for some sour bread to wipe around my plate. Now I'm wanting something hot, so do bring me a pot of venom or of bile, anything that's simmering in the editor's kitchen, in the kitchen, in the kitchen of his oh-so, 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 clever mind. I truly hope it's not gone missing. What? My taste buds are confused, but I never have refused a helping of some scandal, and I always like to handle any morsel that will help me to despise and hate. Like, Libidinous John Terry. Oh, naughty boy. Yes, very. For allegedly he has betrayed his mate. But so early in the day, I really have to say I will keep well away from too many chewy bits. Yeah, I might take them later, but I'll leave them now, Herr Waiter. I can't manage everything on my oh-so, oh-so, oh-so overflowing plate. Perfumers nearly overthrew the state. I won't eat up my greens unless there's something mean in your headlines, in your stories, even something near obscene, or something gory, or perhaps about some politician's fate. And I really feel Wayne Rooney's behaved just like a loony, heaping so much scandal on his greedy plate. Now, of course I'm not jealous that he's rebellious against his father figure in the sky, who used to be his mate. Scandal, conflict, I can never get enough of it. Bring me a glass of spite to go with it. I spit on quality respectability. Daily Telegraph, Observer, you don't wallow enough in murder. But you wait. One day you'll see the error of your sniffy ways. And Chef Murdoch 
will reign in all, will reign in all, will reign in all the kitchens of the world, in every one of the tabloid kitchens of the world, the Hanoi Telegraph, the Peking Sun. Oh, waiter, can I order another show on the waiter? Side dishes of envy and of hate. And I think I'm going to pay because I'm really going to need some sour bread to wipe around my plate. And I really think I might take a little bit of spite and add a little garnish to my plate. Oh, waiter, did you find the spite? I know, I know, I might one day try to understand the plight of tabloid victims. Though I'm really rather glad they're picked on. How leader writers never seem to tire of heaping on the fire all the muck and waste in kitchens. Such hot work, it really must make them perspire. Not that I'm a vulture for despair. Oh no, I truly love our celebrated tabloid culture. Me? I'm happily married. 2.4 kids, no mortgage carried, and I've lived all my life in full security with the rarest of the blondes. I've lots to celebrate, so bring me a full breakfast. What the hell, I'm feeling reckless before labour wins and this fair country bombs. Oh wait, so can I order another shot of Freuder with side dishes of envy and hate? And I think I'm going to need, and I'm really going to need for some sour bread to wipe around my plate. And I really think I might take a little bit of spite if it adds a little garnish to my plate. By the way, dear waiter, sometimes I get indigestion. Do you have any suggestions for my client? Should I have to overdose? Is there anything you might recommend as a quick antidote? What? 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 What's that about the Bible? The beam and moat? Oh no, I'm liable to choke on morals. They might stick in the crawl of my capacious throat. What? Humility, forgiveness, understanding. Come on, sir, that will hardly do the business. You really, really must be getting old. I'll stick to what I know. Schadenfreude has served me well, so serve me another plate. What the hell? He lashings on. The pleasure is all mine. We're in this thing until the end of time. But I'll give you one tip. When serving up, never let your Schadenfreude slip. In case you see yourself in the mirror of your fate, in the mirror of this hosa shiny plate. Oh, waiter, can I order another shampoo for a bit of the side dishes of envy and hate? And I think I'm going to need, and I'm really going to plead for some sour bread to wipe around my plate. And I really think I might add a little bit of spite, for it adds a little garnish to my plate.